The Horn of Africa ushered in the new year with news of a deal that would ensure that diplomatic relations in the region got off to a bumpy start in 2024. Ethiopia, it was announced on January 1st, had signed a memorandum of understanding with the breakaway region of Somaliland, opening the door to an agreement to exchange a stake in flagship carrier Ethiopian Airlines for access to the Gulf of Aden. Such transactions of economic reciprocity are generally routine as scholars of international relations and law like myself are aware. But this deal has another element. It intertwines sea access with Ethiopia's formal recognition of Somaliland, and this has sparked quite a diplomatic stir. Ethiopia's neighbor Somalia has demanded that the agreement be immediately retracted. Somaliland's quest for recognition. Since declaring independence from Somalia in 1991, Somaliland has operated as a fully functional de facto state boasting its own defined territory, population, and government. However, it still lacks the international recognition that would allow Somaliland full participation in the global community, such as membership in the United Nations. A formal nod would also unlock access to protections under international law and economic opportunities. The agreement with Ethiopia would be a step toward providing that critical missing link, rising regional tensions. In the days since the Memorandum of Understanding was inked, Tensions have deepened between Somalia and both Ethiopia and Somaliland. Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed issued a stern warning against the agreement and threatened to defend Somalia through all available means. He urged Somali civilians to stand united against potential incursions and cautioned Ethiopia against escalating the situation into armed conflict. Uneasy International Response Global attention to growing tensions in the Horn of Africa has been mounting. The U.S. has expressed serious concern and the African Union has urged Ethiopia and Somalia to de-escalate the tensions in the name of regional peace. Similar statements have come from the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, an African trade bloc, the European Union and the Arab League, widespread protests. Djibouti, which neighbors Somaliland to the northwest, has called for dialogue and a diplomatic solution. But such calls, from both international and regional players, have done little to calm tensions. In the days since the deal was announced, tens of thousands of Somalis have protested in the streets of Mogadishu, calling the move an aggression against the nation's sovereignty. And while residents of both Somaliland and Ethiopia have largely supported the memorandum, hopeful in turn that it would lead to international recognition and economic uplift, not everyone is behind the deal. It would seem that the memorandum of understanding has served to reopen old wounds across the region.